Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to be looking at button groups. Button groups allow you to group a series of buttons together. It allows you to put them either on a single line or vertically, however you want. It's easy to switch between them. We'll show you both of them. So what we mean by grouping buttons, aka, you know, these buttons right here, you can basically group them so they're connected together. Keep similar buttons together. That's essentially what we're going to be showing you. Plus also there's other videos in this series that will show you different button types, whether it's a drop down button, whether it's a radio button or a checkbox button. Doesn't matter what it is, you can easily substitute one of those buttons for a button within the button groups. We're just gonna use simple buttons like we've used so far, but it, like I said, it's very easy just to substitute one of these buttons for one of those buttons. So if you just go to your text editor, what I'm gonna do is add a couple of new lines just so it's easier to see. First of all, you need to put a div and the div is essentially the container for your buttons, AKA your button group. You need to put a class, which is btn-group. This has a role of group. When I say group, it almost sounds like Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Area dash label. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna put. Mm, no, I don't think I need a label. Now we can emit that, and now it's gonna put some buttons. And like I said, these buttons are essentially what we've already used right here. So actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna put a button here. I'm gonna copy and paste it, so you can actually see it is literally the same. So I'm gonna use the wrong key to copy then. Copy that one. You can put as many as you want really. I'm gonna, mm, ah, let's get this one. Very up. I don't know how this is actually gonna look. And then let's get, let's get this one. Let's get a small one. So if I just paste this inside, save it. Go to the browser, refresh, there you go, we have a button group. First, actually, I'm also going to add some break lines at the end, so it's a little easier to see. Save that, refresh, there we go, we have our button group, and as you can sort of see, the buttons usually have rounded edges. You can, rounded corner, sorry, they usually have rounded corners, you can easily change that, it's just border radius in CSS, if you don't want it, just remove it, it's very simple, but if you put them in a button group, only the ones at the end have that border radius, aka the curve on the corner, any buttons in the middle don't, so that's really cool, so you don't have to mess around with that just to make it look good, and as you can see, obviously a small one doesn't look very good, so you will probably want to think about what you're doing when you're doing button groups, so you get buttons that look very nice. I'm just going to copy a few more in, so you can simply see, let's copy these in really, save it, refresh the browser and as you can see none of the buttons in the middle have curved corners only the ones at the edges do so that's button groups okay we're also going to show you how to vertically align them and to do that all you do instead of btn dash group you put btn dash group dash vertical save it refresh and as you can see they are now aligned vertically and the same principle still applies aka any buttons in the middle don't have sorry don't have curved corners and neither do the corners of the buttons at the edge that are facing inside aka these two here and these two right here with button groups that are vertical you can easily add other buttons as well, whether it's drop down buttons, radio buttons, the process is exactly the same. So that's button groups. If you have any questions, 
feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php and we'll help so will the community please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus there'll be another link in the description which will be the source code from this video so check that out and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day